that is freaking awesome. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, my gear set up behind me I've got the uh, Equinox 800 with the coil tech 10x5 and uh, I've come to the park for a look had a couple of beach hunts recently uh, I've got one sort of that I'm editing now ready to put up so hopefully in the next uh, week or so we'll get that up but anyway um, yeah see if I can find a couple of targets for you all right see you on that first one Right guys, got a target here, um, just under the swing, 21, 2, 3 inches, and I think I can actually see a little glitter of gold there, so I'm picking dollar coin, here right here. shiny one sweet all right guys this is uh, showing on the Equinox 800 I've got the little uh, coil tech 10 by 5 on um, just going over a few areas that I've been over with the Vanquish 540 um, but yeah 28 high tone flipped this plug over and got a couple of handfuls of dirt out checked it again and it's sort of um, 28 to 32 so yeah we're uh, almost on the target Let's see here in that corner so probably another couple of inches I reckon and uh, yeah we'll be into it Dirt out here is oh I've just popped something up. Hang on. Oh yeah, looks like a little pendant maybe. Here's some very very fine writing um, on the back. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what that is. But it's pretty cool. Check that hole. No, it's definitely the only target. Alright, I'll um, get a photo of that and uh, have a look later on with the loop and put it up in the photo what I think it is. Alrighty, uh, 21 bit jumpy uh, around about five inches deep uh, one cent coin all right guys haven't had too much luck at the moment so i'm just going to uh switch ends of the park and um go and have a look around the sixpence alley so I'd see if that brings me any luck with that small coil okay see you when i get over there all right guys, first uh, pre-decimal, uh, around four inches, five inches deep. Got a beautiful 1941 New Zealand one penny. That's bloody awesome. Right, it's uh, 15, 16, around about three inches deep. We've got a uh, old 20 cent piece. Nice looking coin. Oh, that's cool. Hi right, guys, got a bit of a jumpy signal here. 
It's got to go in 19, 20, 21, 22. I'll have a look anyway. All metal, not really doing many iron grunts, the odd one. Okay, should be on the tip of the coil. I'll get that uh, turned over and bring you back in. All right guys, got that plug turned over. Plug cloth on the ground, ready to go. I'll take a couple of scoops and then I'll um, turn that knocked a pointer on and have a little listen in there. Hopefully it's not too far away. Show it around uh, four to five inches. Just check on here first. Right. Okay, down in the hole still. Listen a bit more up. Dig that out. Hopefully it's an alright target. Concern is it's quite large. Oh, this is the epic fail that one guys. Um, Tip that dirt back in. Basically, um, it's a key big chunk of number eight wire. All right, I'll get that plug tidy up and uh, carry on. Right, guys. Um, probably been, I don't know, uh, good hour, hour and a half since I've found anything decent. Um, my huge just over there. As you can see uh, in the distance just by this monstrous old tree here but I've picked up a signal um, I'll just show you that now it's sort of 14 it's all over the show really but it seems to be fairly constant around the 14 15 16 I um, move around the other side Yeah, 14, 15, 16, quite deep. So I'll get that plug turned over and um, bring you back in when we start to dig. Okay. Right, guys, got that plug turned over. Um, it's actually nice ground under the uh, tree here. I went over it with the, um, the Equinox again and uh, sort of stabilized around the 14, 15. Um, so yeah, hey, we'll see. Turn that pointer on. As you can see, I haven't uh, dug anything out yet. Okay, so there's nothing in the first uh, three, four inches. I've got the sensitivity on the uh, Nocta pointer up full. Yeah, still got nothing. Oh, got a little beat then. Okay. I'll do a bit of digging. Feels like a root down in there. Alright, that's cleared out. Okay, it's down in that corner. Definitely, we're getting a bit closer. Ah, oh, there's our root. This part of the um, area I've only really detected once. It's uh, just on the main driveway in, on the right hand side. and. I've only really seen a few cars parked up here. Okay. It's out. Alright, let's see what we got. I'll just 
just shift that dirt so I don't go back in the hole. Uh, looks like it's going to be a dollar coin. That's a bit weird. No, it's not a dollar coin. Oh, fuck your fucking kit. Oh, shit. Sorry about the language. You're kidding me. That's, uh... That's fucking gold. That's a young head. Queen Victoria. Holy fucking shit. I'll just go look around because there's a lot of people here at the moment. Oh my god, that's a... That's a shield. I can't really tell by weight, but... This is either a, a, a gold half sovereign or full sovereign. Holy shit. I want to try and see that date, but I'm too bloody blind to see it. Okay, look, I'll, um, I'll get a photo of this. Uh, and yeah, I'll... See what it is at the breakdown. That is absolutely awesome. Okay, um, yeah, look, I'm gonna try and do a gold dance. Um, I haven't got anything to hold my camera, but, but yeah, look, fuck it, it's worth the shot. <laughs> All right. Fuck, I'm ecstatic. Okay, all right, um, I'll get this set up, see if I can do a gold dance for you, because you deserve it. Um, and then, yeah, look, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm just so wrapped. Right, I haven't got anyone to hold the bloody camera for me, so, look, I'm just going to do my stupid dance, and you guys can dance with me. It's gold, it's gold, oh yeah, it's gold. Spinning around. Whoa, shit. Nearly fell over. Friggin' awesome. Probably look like a dick, but hey. All good. Alright, guys. Uh, huge just here. I just picked up a 1718 on the way back, so I'll um, just do this one and then get on out of here. Yeah. Crappy bit of tin. Right, I'll check over that hole. Just in case that's not it. Yeah, no, I've still got 17, 17, 18, 19, quite deep. Can't believe I got that sulfur enough. All these years. <laughs> Unreal. Still gone. Friggin' ring pull. That one. Like this, eh? Check the hole. It's definitely stuck.
still something in there. Going higher. Gonna lose that again. It's no sovereign, but it's stunning. It's a farthing. Uh, date again is too small for my eyes, but that's absolutely mint condition. Looks like 1921. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome to the breakdown. So, there was a whole heap of bottle caps and pull tabs and bits and pieces, which, you know, this is about half of what I actually found um, the rest of it sort of went in the trash can had to do a bit of an empty out but um, yeah when you're hunting um, those sort of numbers that range from 13 to 16 that's sort of what you're going to find um, it's only sort of these screw caps and things like that that, that ring up the higher numbers but um, yeah you know bottle cap like that Crown cap is yeah pretty solid 14 on the uh, Equinox. See, so, yeah, there wasn't a heck of a lot of finds. Um, I did find that uh, two dollar coin. Got a the New Zealand one cent piece there. Uh, the 41 penny. It's in uh, really nice nick. And uh, the old 20 cent piece from uh, when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, pretty cool find. Um, the three other items that I found, which are uh, the top finds for the day. The um, farthing, I think on the video I said it was a 1921. It's actually um, 1923 after I've given it a bit of a clean up. But that's in really beautiful condition and uh, had I not found these other couple of items that would have definitely been find of the day the next one was um, the little pendant which I've given a clean that's um, sterling silver it has rowie on it R-O-W-I and uh, the sterling silver and it's a St. Christopher pendant. And it has a really nice cut design. So it makes it really shine. And uh, of course, without doubt, find of the hunt and probably going to be find of the year. I've given this a very light clean just with a um, cotton bud. And this is a... 19 ah oh, sorry 1880 sydney mint half sovereign and uh i've since found out that it has a crenulated rim on it um so i think in total there was about eighty thousand produced that year with the crenulated and beaded rim but I think the crenulated is uh, yeah, in the sort of more five to 10,000 range. So yeah, absolutely ecstatic with that. I mean, it's a, a very scarce find. So chances are I'll never see one again. 
So yeah, I'm really, really over the moon. And um, yeah, I do apologize for the language in the video, but um, hey, <laughs> you'd be the same. Okay guys, so thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support and I'll see you on the next hunt. Bye for now. Hey!